Don't forget to press the subscribe button and click the bell icon to stay up to date with all our videos. Okay guys, so welcome back. And I think this is going to be the last tutorial because in this uh, video I'm going to show you about the calculate function and how to display it on the screen. So that's pretty much it for a calculator application, right? So that will be it. And before I start this video, I would like to let you know that please subscribe to this channel. We are 500 strong now. So please subscribe it and share it with your friends and we would really appreciate that. Thank you very much for that. All right, so let's begin with the application. So let me open the code where we were like stuck last time. So as you can see here, this is a keyboard function, the calculator, this is a, our main function which we had. And one important thing I would like you guys to know is I won't be doing the string manipulation. I want you guys to work on it. So for example, there should not be any uh, divide signs, like if there are two, and if there is one, there should be zero in front of it which will take care of that zero and divide something but i i don't need two multiplication sign it shouldn't do anything at all or even minus signs and minus has one more condition for example if i have eight multiply by let's say minus six so this is should be valid right but if i have eight multiply by multiply by six so this is not like multiply multiply you cannot multiply it twice so these are some string manipulations which i would like you guys to do and let me know if you are stuck somewhere because i have the solutions to it so all right so let's begin with the first thing i want this clear button to work so for that reason what i'm going to do here is i'll go to the code on the calculator in my clear i'm just gonna create a function on click the uh, I don't we don't need this when we are using hooks so okay clear input this is a function we don't have it yet but I'm gonna create it const clear input okay and it's gonna be very simple we just need this input to be empty so we can use the uh, use input method and it's gonna be empty string and that's pretty much it so let's see if this is working so eight, eight, clear perfect this is working good all right so for the tricky part is going to be the calculating function so the calculator function so const calculate late and but we haven't have a solution for that so if I simply search like string calculate string value in JavaScript so we really don't want to use eval because people say that it has a risk though we can use it because the string which we will be using this string is gonna come from a calculator so it is with, uh, very much within our reach so the reason people avoid using it is because of injection error someone might put in queries or something like that but we won't be doing that so for us right now in training purpose it's okay to use eval and there's a guy who has created this function I like this answer very much so you just need to pass in this function and it's gonna give you the output the evaluated output so if you want to check it you can go to repel if you guys don't know what repel is you should try because this is a playground which allows you to work in different languages before there was react as well but they removed react and now they just have JavaScript and bunch of other Java, Python and many more. 
Okay, so let's try this guy's function here first. So I'm putting it here and let's do the console. Space down 12. Isn't that, yeah, the, see, it is working. Let's try something different. Minus 4, minus 7. So the answer should be 11. Let's see, we get minus 11. Okay, minus 7. This should throw us an error because there's supposed to be a space here. So if I put a space here, it's going to consider this one as minus 7. So minus 4 minus of minus 7 is 3. So this is good. Let's try to complicate it a bit. So. Okay, so this is working fine because it's going to divide this first and then minus 4 plus whatever it is. Okay, so this is, as you know, this is working. We're going to name it as uh, evaluate. And let's put this function inside of our react. It's going to throw you an error saying that this is eval. But we don't care because this is not an error. This is just a warning by ESLint. So you can ignore it. This error is that we haven't, we are not reading anything from, because we are not like utilizing evaluate anywhere. So we're going to utilize it in calculate. So what we are going to do is, we can, all we need is to do is like directly set, set input to the, evaluate our returned eval right so I can either do it this way set input evaluate and here it will be input so you might see this as directly getting displayed on the screen and we want to calculate on equal to sign so I'm gonna pass in this function as a callback function or not a callback function I'm gonna pass this function directly inside of my keyboard calculate equals to calculate sorry not calculate calculate yeah calculate okay sorry typo okay so this is good in the keyboard if we go where is the equal to sign it's right here on click we don't want to add equal to we want to rather do a calculate so calculate c a l c u l a t e okay this is the function i need to put it in the destructuring here so calculate so this should work so let's go back eight minus 5 equals to 3 okay perfect sweet this is working 9 divide by okay so it keeps on adding to whatever your output was so if I clear it it's gonna go away 9 divide by 3 multiplied by 5 so it should be 15 so it's gonna throw an error and the reason is invalid or unexpected token so let's see what exactly happened. 9 into 5 equals to, okay. So 9, oh, okay. So the reason here is that if you have a multiplication sign, it's not going to work because it's supposed to be a star and not a multiply. So I can put star where is my multiplication sign okay here it is so if I have a multiplication sign it's gonna go as star if I put a divide sign so where's the divide sign I think okay a divide won't work as well because okay here it is so it's supposed to be divide okay so it's supposed to take like out of the four plus minus 
star r slash. Okay, so 9 into 5, so I'm supposed to give you 45, divide by 6, 7.5 into 2, 15. So now let's try a long string into 5 minus 6. Okay. Okay, so it's giving us some value which we don't know. Let's take the value from here. Let's see if this works. It should work because we are using this function itself. Okay. Ah. Um, how am I going to put that here? But I can take it out. Clear. 12. Divide by... 5 into not plus sorry 12 divide by 5 into 9 plus 9.4 multiplied by 2 okay let's see it should be 40.4 okay great so this is working and with that we have completed this one but one issue is that you might have these kind of a string which won't be evaluated because it's gonna throw you an error so for that reason we are going to put the evaluate function in a try catch so try set input catch console dot log error so let's see what happens here nine divide 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 let me open the console as well okay equals to okay nine divide okay so it threw an error but it didn't break the application so maybe you might want to put a stopper or one thing I can show you right now how to do that is let's clear it and if I put a divide I would like a zero before a divide so zero divide by whatever first if it's an operator we need a zero before that so that's how it is in Google and all the other calculators if you want to check that you can go and Google it so if I press divide, it's going to give me a zero. But if I put a number, it's going to give me that particular number. That could be, this could be even with point. 0.5 equals to 0.5. So we don't really care about point, but yes, for operators, we need a zero. So how can we do that? We can inside, like add input on every input, we can check that if the character input if input dot length equals to zero so that's when we need to check that if is not a number so the thing is that if you have a let me show you is you can use this uh, uh, API you can call it API you can call it function whatever you want but you can use is nan function let's say if I put this it's gonna give me false if I put this it's gonna give me true so it's uh, is nan is, is not a number so that's what it is so what we do here is we put in number we, first of all we convert this string to number and then check and check that is this a number or not okay is not a number yes it's true four is going to be false so that's how we can check if the input what exactly the input is so is not a number number of character this character could be slash star this is what we need to check so if it's not a number I'm gonna do one thing that 
I'll, I'll have a variable here for new input equals to empty string I won't have this let anymore so new input equals to input I'm gonna make a shallow copy of this because even strings are arrays so new input plus equals to zero plus character okay uh, it should be oops, it should be here okay so and I need to do a set input of new input great else and uh, one main thing I need to do a return here so it breaks this, it completes this function, it doesn't go beyond this if it's the first character. And if it's the first character and if it's not a number, I'm just going to do the same thing. Return plus no zero, just a character, set input, and that's it. All right, so let's see how the program is going to work. 8, it works good. Divide by 9. Okay, this is good. We, you can even uh, change it to 2 decimal or let's say 6 decimal or whatever you want. Okay, so 3 minus 2, 1. Let's try for our minus multiply so this is something that you guys need to work on if you are let me know if you are stuck somewhere I can help you out okay so the C zero issue was solved by just adding a small if else so if you if you are stuck here yeah, let me know but th this concludes our tutorial I just want to add one last thing here is I wanted to add a footer my app.js so I can go here and I'll just copy and paste my footer the emoji should be wrapped I don't care okay that's it and one another thing is about the fonts so if you don't uh, know which fonts we have used you should try these fonts. maybe they, they might be in the cart but Okay, this is a rally coding one, but I can get it for you. So, if you don't know how to use the Google font to get the fonts, just let me know as well. I can make a separate small video to show you how exactly we do it. But right now, I'm just going to provide you a link to that. So, this is a link to get all the fonts which we have used here and I took it from Google fonts the way we do it I copy this link and paste it so I'm gonna put it in the public so public index HTML right here so this should work good let's go ahead and check our application okay perfect these are slightly better fonts okay perfect this is working great and great thank you for watching this series and I'm gonna make different tutorials again like on different projects so we really really appreciate your support and if you are new to the channel please subscribe to the channel and let us know what you think about these videos in the comment section don't forget to like it and share it with your friends so see you next time and have a good one. Bye-bye.